In this poster session you can find out all about our work in streamlining small animal magnetic resonance imaging workflows and how we make that work available transparently and free and open source to you. The core challenges of preclinical fMRI include technology adoption from human fMRI. This is a counterintuitive thing, but due to the history of the method, human fMRI applications have a significantly broader range than preclinical applications, meaning that there is a lot of know-how which can be integrated into animal research simply by transferring it. Another core challenge is data standardization. Ideally, data collections could just be plugged into various workflows. This also means for you as a user that you should be able to use one workflow, which you've put in place once, for subsequent data. Another core challenge is the seamless integration of reference data. There are a lot of collections of mouse or rat data, particularly the Mouse Allen Brain Institute Atlas, which allows you to see projections or gene expression. And ideally, all of this data could be automatically integratable into your workflow in one coordinate space, registered to one template, so that you can use it together with your data for your analysis. Not least of all, we would need a more transparent and reproducible development environment so that you are not dependent on some centralized distributor of analysis software and you can take it and do with it what you wish. Samurai provides solutions for all of this. It consists of a comprehensive set of workflows. It implements cutting edge neuroscience packages and data references, and they integrate seamlessly using standardized formats. What you can see in the bottom is an overview of the provenance graph of all of the stages at which Samurai operates. And you see bits written in colorful colors. This is basically a standard which accompanies the processing throughout the entire duration, meaning that at any point in this process, bits data can be plugged in or taken out. And of course, all of this is written fully free and open source and is therefore transparent and hackable, meaning adaptable to your needs. Figures as you could produce directly from the raw data automatically without manual interaction, no dragging and dropping, nothing like that could look like this. This is a map and a breakdown of the distributions of values in the most inhibited and excited regions following a stimulus application. It can go further than that. If you have a multi-session study, you could view regions of interest across sessions as you see in this figure where we compare a drug treatment. Not least of all, if you are interested in slice-wise visualization, you can use it including to compare different maps, as in this example where we compare automatically integrated projection data from the Allen Brain Institute with experimental fMRI data. Now of course this is just the top layer of Samurai, the top layer of figures which you can do at the end. There's a lot more to these workflows and I'd welcome you to view the poster and find out all about that.